of them and put like a quote sheet where we write our epic quotes that are really funny out there on the front door. And I came home and I was like, I have a place here. That's what I felt like. So I'm really torn because the more I hang out with all these people at the gay frat, I, I really like all of them. They're really nice. They're not like a party frat or anything like that. They're just not like that. Um, it's really nice living here. I actually, today I'm supposed to get the call on whether they want me in their frat or not, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to join because I like everyone here. It's my kitchen. The living area with our Nintendo 64. And the dining living room area. Anyway, as you can see, my art is everywhere. Because... I'm an art hooker. I sell myself wherever I go. Sock Juan, if you were a belly button, what would you say? I will build it with my fingers. <laughs> I need your response. Tim, if you were a belly button, what would you say? <laughs> Chiho, if you were a belly button, what would you say? Shit. <laughs> my scariest moment was meeting my third grade teacher. She was such a witch. I came home that, that afternoon and I told my mom that I wanted my amygdala removed. That's how much I didn't like my teacher. She was... She was a witch. She looked like an evil school teacher. She was, she was mean. I mean, that, she probably wasn't that mean, but at the time she made me cry. Just by existing. So, I got, um, I got a new teacher. His name was, her name was Mrs. Copeland, and I adored her. <laughs> and life was good after that. Kelsey. If I were a belly button, become the belly button. That's what you'd say. Think I wanna die. 